Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today we're gonna talk about something that might surprise you coming from a starting strength coach, intermittent fasting. That's right, intermittent fasting, and this is part one of two fasting videos. So if you like the channel, please like and subscribe so you can get the next one. Intermittent fasting has become wildly popular over, I don't know, the last five to 10 years. There's articles all over the internet Tons of people doing it, ads, intermittent fasting for belly fat loss, intermittent fasting for this, for that, you name it, it's all over the internet. And while I do think there is a place for intermittent fasting and it can be a very good tool for intermediate lifters, which we're gonna cover, I do think Ripito hits the nail on the head when you think about what intermittent fasting actually is. But don't take my word for it, let's hear it from him. So you're gonna IF. Uh, how do you, all right, I got a question. When does IF become just not eating breakfast? Does anybody know the answer? Good to question. I just, I... So actually a really, really, really good question. And I do know the answer to it. IF, in my opinion, kind of is skipping breakfast. But first, let's define terms on what most people think of when they think of IF. And the key thing that they're talking about is a feeding window, meaning some time of day where they're going to eat, and then the rest of the day they are not going to eat. So it might be a 16-8. So eight of those hours might be sleeping, eight of those hours might be awake, and then they might eat all their meals between, I don't know, 2 and 10 p.m. People move it around all the time. It's kind of annoying. Hey man, do you want to get lunch? No, my feeding window's not until 3. Come on, is it that serious? My argument would be, no, it's not. However, I do think it can be very, very useful to go down to two meals a day for some people. And I think if you're gonna skip a meal, the best one to skip probably is breakfast. Now, while some of you wake up in the great state of South Carolina, cook six eggs, country hams, cover it in Bojangles or cock sauce or whatever you like, not all of you make those great intelligent decisions. Some of you eat scones, Lucky Charms, Cocoa Puffs, donuts, uh, these creamy coffee milkshake things that I don't understand why someone would order in the morning, but you do. And if you wanna do that, that's fine. But if you're coming to me saying, hey, I want to lose weight, I want to recomp, I want to maintain my strength but look different, the first thing I'm gonna ask you is are you making those bad decisions on days that don't matter. Tuesday morning, do you need a Frappuccino? My answer, no you don't. You'll be fine, just have some black coffee. Now the IF diehards are gonna tell you that there starts to be some hormonal changes when that feeding window or that feeding window gets shorter and the fast gets longer. And I do agree with that, but not only until you're more than skipping breakfast or even skipping lunch. You've done that before, if you, whether you know it or not. You've woken up, you were late for work, you barely got coffee, you sped to the office, you went into meetings, you did whatever, all of a sudden it was two in the afternoon. Hey, congrats, you made it, your first IF. No, you just were busy and you couldn't eat breakfast and lunch. And guess what? You ate dinner and everything was fine. In terms of the benefits of fasting, increased HGH, mental clarity, skin cells, uh, cell reproduction, all of those things, in my opinion and from my experience, a longer fast is required. Not saying you don't get maybe some small benefits from a 16-8 or something like that, but I don't think you're getting some of the things that the internet is claiming. I think the benefit of intermittent fasting is for people that are trying to reduce caloric consumption. Now, that doesn't mean it works for everyone. Some people need to eat three meals a day or four or five and mentally that keeps them going and they don't like the idea of not eating or if they find that they skip a meal, they overeat in the next meal. But for the majority of people that I coach that wanna recomp or wanna lose some weight, killing breakfast makes it much easier for them. And not only does it remove some of those bad decisions, but then for lunch and dinner, now that they know it's the only two meals that they have, they can make better choices, and they often do. So is intermittent fasting right for you? Well, I don't really know. Like I said, if you're brand new to strength training in your week, fix the weakness problem. That's your biggest issue. But if you've been training for four to five months and you've developed a gut and you wanna recomp or you want something to change, yeah, if you wanna lose some body fat, you're gonna have to get in a caloric deficit. This is just a numbers game. So does all the growth hormone that's gonna be released from IF gonna do that for you? No, but the reduction in a meal and now that you're 
I effing I if might because you're eating less calories. So if you think based off your personality type and how you like to eat that that would help, that's how I think. It's very useful for me. I use it every day. I don't have a specified window, but I rarely eat breakfast. Then yeah, it might be for you. And I think for everybody going without some food and experiencing some discomfort once in a while is probably a good thing just so that you know that hey I actually don't need to eat every six hours to survive there are way worse things that can happen to me so if you want to give intermittent fasting a try give it a shot that is step one for people that come to me and want to do an extended fast I have an article about this that you can read about how to get started and part two of this video will be extended fast why when and how to train during them Spoiler alert, I'm on day three of a four day fast right now. I'll do it tomorrow while everything's fresh in my mind. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.